this is Antonio Vega. And this is Antonio Vega in a Fort Myers Police Department interrogation room. Antonio was about to be questioned about a gangland style shooting that happened in March of 2019 in Fort Myers, Florida, and what his potential involvement may be. Antonio knows that he's about to be questioned about something serious since the U.S. Marshals were involved in his capture, but what he doesn't know is the extent of the evidence that the police already have and have already planned to get. This is the interrogation of Antonio Vega. Huge thanks to our friend Drip Drop and the Crime Circus family for permission and access to both angles of this interrogation. For brand new, never before seen raw interrogation footage, click the Crime Circus link in the description below. There's no water fountain around here? The cell I was in didn't have no water. I'm going to check your dry. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Okay. Antonio will have to sit and wait for nearly 10 minutes before detectives enter the room. There is not one single word or mentionable thing that happens during this time, so we'll skip this portion of the interrogation entirely. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Hey, what's up? Do you want to go to the other room? Is that right? Wait. Um, we can take the cover off. Yeah. Okay, you can stand up. Could you turn the chair too? Is that again? Could you turn the chair? Well, yeah, man. You, you, you can, can, can adjust it however you want to adjust it once I get these cups. So it'd be easier for you to move around. This is what happens when you get new glasses. I gotta take them off just to see. Antonio, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Should I get some information from you? Okay. And your last name is Vega. V E G A, yes, ma'am. Your date of birth? Three two ninety six. Do you have a telephone number? Mm, not really. No, like no, ma'am. You don't. No. Do you have a number that you use well, at all? If I need to get a hold of you and tell you when the lottery, what number am I going to call? <laughs> Seriously, I really don't know. I don't. I don't have a phone right now. Do you have your mom's telephone number? Do you have sister, uh, brother? I think it's. Okay. Where are you staying? Um, you know the Britney's apartments. Mm -hmm. Um, apartment two hundred three. That's all I know. Cause we just moved there. We used to live in West Chase. Apartment two hundred three. Do you know the building number? Uh, no, ma'am. How I long think, ago? Well, did I think it's two. Cause we live, we live right there. Like when you first turn in, you turn left, you go around. It's the second building complex. Second building. Yeah. When you turn left, second building on the right. On the left. It's on the left. I'm upstairs, but the door is downstairs. So yeah, when, yeah. when you walk in, it's a, a okay. stairway. So when I pull into Brittany, I make a left, go around by the pool, past the pool? Past the pool, and there's going to be a row of uh, of mailboxes. Mm -hmm. You park right there, you go to the back, and you knock. And so it's the second building on the left? Yes. Okay. How long have you lived there? It's it's right in front of the uh, the mailboxes, so you can't miss it. I I just moved there like what like a month and a half. Not even. Month and a half ago. Yes, ma'am. Who do you live with? My girlfriend, Angie Basilio, and her mom, her mom, Berta Trujillo, her brother, Eric Hernandez, 
and three three siblings. Okay, so you guys all live together. Yes. Okay. Um. Do you have that telephone number? This is your mom's number. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. I have to read you something? Okay. You have the right to remain silent. With these rights and minds in mind, do you wish to speak with us? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Detective Brittany Morse. Yes. Detective Vinny Doyle. Okay. Do you know why you're here? No, ma'am. No? No, ma'am. Okay. They just came and got me. All right. All right before, before we get started, as law enforcement officers in the state of Florida, we're, we're authorized to take sworn testimony. So the statement you're about to give us right now is the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So help you got? Yes, sir. Okay. Um. All right. So on March 28th, it was a Thursday. At 11.13 a.m. on March 28, 2019, a woman was driving her car in Fort Myers, Florida. Unbeknownst to her, a vehicle had been tailing her for some time. That unknown vehicle would eventually pull up next to her driver's side door at a stoplight on Fowler Street. Without any provocation at all, the passenger of the vehicle that was following her opened their door, pointed a pistol at her, and opened fire. The victim was struck once, leaving her critically wounded. Okay. Do you remember what you were doing that day? Yes, ma'am. I was home. Home at West Chase? No, no. Right there at the, you were the, home new, at the new apartments. No, we don't. Nobody lives at West Chase anymore. Okay. The so you were home apartments. at the Britney's? Yes, ma'am. Who were you with? Eric Hernandez. Okay. He wasn't working that day. Okay. Uh, what were you? What were? What, what were you doing that day? Well, sleeping. When I don't work, I sleep mostly every day. Where do you work? Day. Accurate Pavers. Well, the company's not called Accurate Pavers. It's uh, Brick and Sand. Brick and Sand? Yes, ma'am. My boss's boss is named Scott. So, Brick? Brick and Sand. Okay, where are they located at? Where do you report to work? Um, I really don't know where the building is at. I think it's off of off of um well I know the accurate pavers job because I'm getting paid under the table I'm not getting paid by company mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying he, they give me checks but I'm still not getting paid they're giving him the money and he's giving me the money you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying yeah and I, I don't know where the brick and sand is at the company so when you show up to work you just show up to job sites no my, my boss come to get me Cesar Rosales um I, I forgot his number too Yes. Okay, but I'm saying like when he picks you up, he doesn't take you to a warehouse or no, ma'am, no, ma'am. We just go to the to the to the job site. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. So you weren't working that day. No, ma'am. How often do you work? Well, not really. Like three three days out of week, four days. Is it out just of week. random? Like, hey, I need you to come work. Yeah, now? because now the well, I guess it's the spring break thingy. All oh, is is messing up the jobs and stuff. We don't have jobs lined up anymore. Okay. So we just they, they give us repairs and we just do repairs and we just go home early. Okay. How's he get a hold of you? Well, he calls my mom in law's number. I I, I don't know that one either. Okay. You don't I just it was just in the phone. Like I said, I had a phone when I got out. I had the numbers, everybody's number. I wasn't remembering nobody's number like that. It's just I had my phone. Mm hmm. And when I lost it, I, I couldn't pay the bill or anything, so I just forget it. Okay. I was just using Facebook. You're just using Facebook. Yes, ma'am. Okay. What's your Facebook account? Uh, it says Pucho to Real. How do you spell Pucho? P U C H O. Is it all one word? No, ma'am. It's uh, space. Space. T O O. The 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 line on the top. I forgot what it's called. And real. Like this? Yes. And then real? Yes. R E A L? Yes. Okay. Is this still active today? 
Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to um, ask you if you know. Do you know this, uh, Tina? No. You don't know who she is? No, ma'am. I know she's got a little haircut, but... No, ma'am. I don't know Do you know this, Tina? Never seen them before? I know like a female I used to talk to, but I, I don't know her. You don't know either one of them? No, ma'am. Have you ever seen them before? No, ma'am. Have you ever driven this car? Or been in this car? Nope. The suspect vehicle that the assailant fired from was found abandoned at a nearby apartment complex at a later time. Fort Myers police were able to connect the previous shooting with the vehicle, which was taken in for processing. You know who that is? No, ma'am. You don't know who this is? No, ma'am. There's more pictures of the car. You mean perhaps maybe get a ride in a car looks like that, or? Car probably looks like it, but I don't know. I don't remember. I like I said, I be driving everybody's car. Well, I don't even drive. You saying you have been driving everybody's car? Or what do you mean? No, I'm saying like I just hop in everybody's car. Like people just come get me from my house and we just go and hang out. You ever hop in a car like that? No, sir. Probably, like I said, I really don't know. I wasn't. I don't pay attention to cars like that, sir. After the formalities of the interrogation have been established, such as the reading of the Miranda rights and gathering Antonio's personal information, both detectives lay extreme pressure onto Antonio with little to no segue. And while attempting to come off as ignorant, he makes a critical mistake almost immediately. Antonio intends to answer their questions, but with non-answers, essentially neither confirming nor denying anything. However, when asked if he has ever been inside of that car, he responds with, probably. Not an answer you'd expect a suspect to give when they're trying to downplay or deny their involvement in a violent crime. Antonio has already dug himself further into a hole, and it seems like he's aware of it. He switches into full answers for the rest of the questions after this, exchanging words of uncertainty such as probably for phrases of certainty like I did and I did not. But oddly enough, he will remain adamant about saying he probably was in the vehicle in question. So when someone comes and picks you up, how do you know what they're driving? they just in front of my house, the mailboxes. I look outside, I see it, boo, and I get in the car. It probably looks, it looks like a car that I've been in. That's what I'm saying, but I really don't, I can't really tell you, I can't say yes, I've been in when car. you were in a car like that? Uh, like years ago, months ago? Probably months ago. Probably like three months ago. Who was driving the car? Who who picked you uh, up in a car like this? One of my friends. But that doesn't look like one of my friends. That's why I'm saying, I guess. You can not. just forget about the guy for right now. Yes. But the, the car. car. Who who was driving that car? It was one of my friends. What's his name? Her name. His name, his name is Lewis. Lewis? Yes. Lewis what? Lewis Vasquez. Lewis Vasquez? Is that L U I S? Yes. How old is Lewis, or do you know his birthday? I think he's like 20 years old. He's 20? Yes. Does he drive a car like this, or does he drive this it's car? It's kind of like it, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Lewis Vasquez. Okay. <laughs> Any of your other friends drive cars like this? No, ma'am. Not no. that I know of. Okay. How close of a friend is he to you? Well, Lewis? Yeah. Oh, I, I've been knowing him since we were kids. Okay. So... Can you guess how many times you've been in a car like that? Or that car right there? Well, I can't really say this car, but... Did he pick you up more than once, twice? You've you been friends with him since not, you Not really. Like I, like I said, like three months ago. So it's been like a long time. So I really don't... I don't associate with people like that. I just I just know him. And I know a couple other friends. And we just hang out. And West Chase, where I stayed at, we just hang out in the bag. I smoke my cigarettes. I drink... A little bit, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's it. 
Oh, there's nothing against the law of your friend picking up. You said you guys grew up, grew up together. Yeah. I'm just curious, how many times did he pick you up in the car? Did you guys ever go out to the store together? Probably once or twice. Because, like I said, we know each other, but it's through Facebook. Like, I used to go out with his cousin and everything. You know what I'm saying? And it just happened like that. I knew him. So maybe once or twice, but not 20 times? No. Like, once or twice. Where does he live? Disney High. He lives in Lehigh? Do yes. you know his address? No, ma'am. Have you ever been to his house? In no, ma'am. Okay. But you know he lives in Lehigh? Yes. Okay. And this is your Facebook page? Are you just going to get some water? Yeah, I can get some water. Yeah. Yes, ma'am? This is your Facebook page? Yes. Okay. Just want to confirm. So this picture is of the same vehicle. Okay. Here. Do you recognize the storefront? Yeah. Do you know where that's at? Uh, not really. But you recognize the storefront? Like the, the front of the store? Kind of. Do you know what store is that like, is? It's like a quick stop. This is the Marathon gas station on Fowler. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Remember? Ah, yes, yes. Is this you in this picture? No, ma'am. That's not you? No, ma'am. Nope. Do you know who that is? Nope. Like I said, I don't associate with people like that. Alright, so on... On... April, or I'm sorry, March 28th at 11 or yeah, 11 o'clock. I was home that before the, morning. the whole day I was there where I was playing games. I smoked my cigarettes, talked to my brother-in-law. He drink beers in the morning. He's a he drink beers. I don't know. He gets drunk in the morning, but I know I left that house. The only time I left the house was like at nighttime, like at eight o'clock. Like it was around, it was like seven or eight, cause the sun was coming down. That's the only, that's the only thing I remember. And when I came home, it was like ten or eleven. Mm-hmm. Where did you go? Went to West Chase. And hung out with Angel. Angel Martinez. Angel Martinez. No, I'm just kidding. There you go. <laughs> I was, I was I'm lost. To, I'm just trying to make you relax a little bit. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right, so you stayed home all day and left at sunri- sunset. Yes, ma'am. On the 28th. Yes. And then you came back 10 or 11 o'clock at night. Yes, ma'am. And you said Eric was home with you. Yes. So he can verify with us that you were home yes, ma'am. that day. He stays there with me. Okay. Is there is there any reason why these two females would say that they know you more than what you're saying? You're saying you don't know them at all. I don't. I don't really know them. You know you don't know any of those females at all? No, sir, I do not. And would there be any reason why your fingerprints would be in that specific car right there? The car that was abandoned in the nearby apartment complex was searched and processed. Crime scene investigators found fingerprints and DNA on the interior passenger side door handle. Those fingerprints were entered into the automated fingerprint identification system, more commonly known as APHIS. APHIS found that there was a previously submitted set of fingerprints that matched the prints pulled from the vehicle, and those prints belonged to Antonio Vega. Fort Myers police, with the help of their specialized gang unit and the involvement of the U.S. Marshals, were able to locate and arrest Antonio soon after the arrest warrant for him was issued. I really don't know. Like I said, it looks like a car that I've been in. It probably is in there. I've been in a whole bunch of cars. It probably is. 
Probably the thousand cars I've been in. When you would ride in a car like that, if that is a car you would ride in, would you ride it in the back seat or the front seat? Well, sometimes it'd be like, when when they come and get me, like, two, three people. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes in the back. Sometimes in the back over here. All right. Well, you said you only one or two times. Yes. So the one or two times that you rode in that car, where'd you sit? Probably in the back. Most likely. Most likely? Yeah. So like no I said, reason. it's like three months ago. You know how much yeah. stuff happens in three months? Sure. It's a long time. Three months. <laughs> <clears throat> so there'd be no reason why your fingerprints would be in the front passenger seat? I really don't know. Well, like I said, I back. really can't tell you if I've been in the front or in the back. Like, when I, a car that looks like this, I've been in the back both times. Right. Well, one time, I really remember because when we came, when he came and got me, we went to a pool. And that was, like I said, the last three months. So it would be safe to say that there would be no reason why your fingerprints would be in the front passenger seat. I really Around don't that know why. Area. I don't know how it would be. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I really don't know. Because I'm, I'm agreeing with you. If you're riding in the back seat, I yes. agree. Then there'd be no reason the fingerprints would be in the front seat. I really don't know. Do you have any enemies, any females that look like that that don't like you? I don't. I have problems with nobody, sir. I that I, that lifestyle is is already gone. When I when I got out of jail the last time. Two days after I got out of jail, I started working. I don't, I, I don't, I don't have personally. problems what, with it. What lifestyle are you referring to? Well, I used to smoke weed and drink and hang out a lot and fight and get in problems like that. Okay. And the last time somebody accused me of doing something to them when I didn't have nothing to do with that. Would they and accuse you? I was shooting them or something like that. Aggravated battery. Okay. And I went to trial and... I beat it because they, I didn't. I wasn't on. I didn't do nothing to them. And it sounds like from what you're describing, you you learned from that past and you kind of live a better life now. Yes, sir. Okay, I respect that. I even got out and I started going to church and everything with my mother. Okay, I respect that. The church lady lives right across from the new apartments. Do you have any ex girlfriends or? No, sir. I, or... I've been with this girl for five years. Look at the date right there. One twenty two fourteen. What's it say above it? Angie. And that's Angie you're talking about? Yes, sir. Do you yep. have any kids with any of the women that would be in a bad relationship with? Or I don't have no other girlfriends. I've been with, like I said, Angie right there. Mm-hmm. Is there any reason why anybody would ever point to you and say, that man just shot at me, shot a gun at me? Well, they did it before, but... Like I said, I... Am I, I talking about that past case? Yeah, I, I don't know why. I really don't know why, sir. I don't have guns. I don't carry guns. You search my whole house if you want. I don't... You would not see any firearm, any... Nothing in there because I don't... I don't carry guns on me. Well, what I'm asking you is, has any... Well, would there be a reason why any person would name you as a suspect for shooting at them? When, you, when, I, when you're answering, you're looking straight at the female's face. No, sir. I do not know why. So you're not, you don't have any family members that would be related to her? Probably. Most of my sister's baby daddies are black. I don't, but I've never seen them. If I would have seen her, I'd have been like, yeah, I know her, I know her, something. But they don't look familiar to me. Okay. I don't know her. No. What's going on? Like, I don't. All this, I, I don't know. I, this is crazy. Well, yeah, you're being brought here in handcuffs. You got pictures of cars. You got pictures of people you don't know in front of you. And we're asking your questions to the detectives. Yeah, but I didn't do nothing to nobody. So I don't know why they, anybody could say a name. Yeah. I didn't do nothing right. to nobody. They're right. There's always two sides to every story. Yes, sir. You know, there is. Well, we always get one half at first, and then we end up speaking to the second half. We just want to make sure we get the truth from everybody. That's all. Yes, sir. I understand. Have you ever been to this marathon gas station? Well, I haven't been to that side 
since I I left, like I said, since I moved there, I never mm -hmm. been to that side anymore. That right there, that where's that? You said it's on where? Yeah, Fowler. Yeah, I haven't even been on that side for like a month. For like a month. Round there, round there. Like When's two the last? Weeks and a half. So when was the last time you've gone to the store? Do you remember? And who you were with? Well, Louis. Well, no, not even. Well, my mom, my mom. I went to the store with my mom, Dollar General, and the Seven Eleven right down the road from us, Walmart. I haven't been on this side for a minute, like I said. I'm not trying to twist up your words. I'm just working off what you're telling me. And you're saying that you last time you were Lewis and possibly a car like that was about three months ago. Yes. You're saying maybe that's why I that's why I'm saying like I I I had to back it up because I don't know. Okay. Like I said, I just want to make sure you're saying probably a month ago you were at that store with Lewis. And you're saying about three months ago. Was yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. It probably was with my mom. Okay, gotcha. I said Lewis's name, but you know. Is that your mom in the car? No, ma'am. That's what I'm saying. I probably was with her. I probably wasn't. That doesn't look like me. How tall are you? Five nine. How much do you weigh? Right now, like about five, about five thirty eight, five thirty nine, around there. Five thirty or five thirty nine? Yes, I mean, excuse I weigh, me. I weigh about one, five one, five. one, <laughs> one, one thirty nine. That's a heavy man. I was still thinking about the. the, the so the, about one forty. <laughs> yes. Let <laughs> me off there. I thought we were weighing in somewhere. <laughs> Stuff's in the process right now that I don't have in my hand right now. But it will come across. Detective Morris says that's pretty soon. So help me understand, if you can, why somebody would point to you saying that you shot at them. I don't know why. Because uh, if you're, there's are females like. Well, I wouldn't. I'm not saying females. Saying females the person, or anything. I'm asking if you know these females. I no, didn't sir. say these females accused you. No, sir. Saying, why would a person accuse you of that? This is my first question. I don't know because I don't. I haven't been on the streets okay. doing anything wrong. And in months. And saying that you're in that specific car. <laughs> I didn't say I was in this car. No, I'm saying you're being, you're being, you're being yeah. accused of being in that specific car. I don't know how. So, I just don't want to get evidence back and be like, you know what I mean? If you I can really don't know how. If you can explain, yeah, you know what, last week, last two weeks ago, I'm in that car and I'm in this area. Maybe somebody just saw me and, and wanted to... Like I said, I, I'd be in a lot of cars. I probably was in this car. But I probably saying, wasn't. You're saying you're not even in that part of town since you moved to the bridge. You're yes. not even in front of that store there. Yes. I, so I said I wasn't around there. When I pull video surveillance over, I'm not going to see you walking in and be like, God, you lied to me. You can look at it. Like I said, I haven't been over there. Because like we said, all we want from everybody involved in this is the truth. We don't want to be lied to. That makes a big problem. I'm telling you, I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not going to be straightforward with you if I really don't know. You should I know for sure over there. if you're if you're when you're in that store. When when did you visit that store? You should know for sure. I can tell you right now. Yeah, when like I, I said, like store. two like two weeks and a half with my mother, probably. Like two I said, weeks. it probably was that gas station. Everybody stops to get gas. I know. Also, I know. I'm probably just, was there. Need to go pay for gas or something. I really don't know. I know, but I'm going off what you said. First yeah. You said th possibly three months when you were with Lewis, then you fixed it. You said no, about a month ago. And I said maybe two weeks. So just try to take a minute to think about it. No, I said with my mother it was two weeks, like two weeks and a half ago. Okay. I just I had said Lewis on the beginning, and then I was like, no wait, like I I wasn't with him around that time because I was with my mother. I probably like I said I probably stopped there with my mother two weeks and a half. Okay. All right. So let me show clear. When's the last time that you you said you've you've not been in trouble or done anything? wrong in a couple of months but then you said when you got out of jail back in just what was it, a couple of years ago no, what did June. you do you That's got out a couple months ago I just, in, got out last in april. Year. I just got out last year june of last year yes ma'am okay, we're in april so 10 months ago 10 months ago is when well, you got out 
Yeah, basically, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> was there any kind of issues with anyone? Any kind of beef? Any kind of talk? A couple years ago when you were arrested? Oh, man. None. A couple of years? No. Probably arguments, but it really wasn't, like, it was dudes. Fought a black guy over there in John Walker's apartments at my mom's house. She came knocking on my door. It's a long story short. We started fighting out there, and the police came and told me to come in the house. Probably about it. Walmart. Seen somebody I knew from a project, Southward Village. Seen people. Oh, they wanted to fight, but it never happened. The security guards came. That's probably about it. But I, I don't know what else. Do you have, you have brothers and sisters? Yes, ma'am. I got six sisters. I don't have no brothers. Six I'm, sisters? Yes, ma'am. I'm the only boy. <clears throat> Do they have, they have children? Yes, ma'am. Are they all older than you? Um, you well, all my, yeah, all my sisters are older than me. I'm the younger. Yes. Okay. Do they live here? Yes, they live in Fort Myers. Okay. Well, two of them live in Fort Myers, and one stays in Miami, and the other three stay in Puerto Rico. Okay. I haven't seen them since I was a kid. Okay. The other three. I've seen Marilyn, Crystal, and Isabel. Okay. Antonia. Should I say? It's her real name. I call her Isabel. Oh. Where does she live? Um, right now she stays in Horizons Apartments. Horizons? Okay. Yes. And I think Crystal, Crystal does too. They both do? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Do you visit them? No, ma'am. We don't, we don't talk to each other. No? No, ma'am. I have problems with Crystal's baby daddy and... I just don't go to her house anymore. I don't talk to her. Okay. Who is her baby daddy? I think Tevin Spears. Okay. That's like the only one that came to the house, really, and met my mom and stuff. But Marilyn's, Marilyn's um, baby daddy, too. I've only seen him like a couple times. He got a glass eye. Mm-hmm. Okay. We're going to step out for just a minute. We'll be right back, okay? So who is... You call her Isabel? Isabella? Yes. Isabel? Yeah, Isabel? Isabel. You call... Okay, so what is her children's father's name? I don't really know him like that. You, I've only seen my nieces. And I've seen her a couple times since I've been out. I don't associate with her. So you don't know his it. name at all? No, ma'am. Probably, they probably call him Menace. Menace or something like that? Menace? What do you mean they probably call him that? Because that's, I think she said it a couple times around me. So I really don't know him. Every time he came to get the kids, he came He came in the car. And she'd get the kids. Because they always argue and everything. Mm-hmm. It's an off and on relationship with them. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I just don't get involved with my sister's relationship anymore. Yeah, my lesson. Do you know, um, okay, you said you don't, you don't know his name. Do you know who he's related to? No, ma'am. Not any of his family? No, ma'am. So... This is the deal. There's multiple witnesses, independent witnesses, that are just here from out of town, that see you in the passenger seat of that car. Me? Yeah. I'm being straight up with you right now. It sees you in the passenger seat of this car. Open the door. Passenger door. Reach your arm out. And fire a handgun. A gun? Yeah. I haven't, like I said, I haven't had a gun in years. No, a gun's not too far-fetched. But I don't, I don't carry <clears throat> firearms. I don't do nothing to nobody. I work and I get money. That's all. This, these witnesses who don't even know who shot the gun, Doris, 
these witnesses have the exact same story as the person you shot the gun towards. And they never talk. I didn't shoot at nobody. But they got the same story. They're probably me accusing me. I, don't, I didn't shoot at nobody, like I said. But you're being identified as being the one, man. That's why you're here. But I didn't That's why do you're anything. Handcuffs. I didn't do anything to nobody. I've been working the whole time, staying home. Right. This, look, this is crazy. This is crazy. Like, is it? Is it that? I don't crazy? even do nothing to nobody. Is it that crazy because you're being brought in on handcuffs for being accused of shooting somebody? Yeah, and, and I asked them what I what am on, I being arrested for? Let me finish. And you're sitting there like you got the wrong meal at the McDonald's. Like there's no no care in the world. You're being accused of a felony here. If someone accused me of shooting somebody, because I'd be climbing I, these walls trying to... Whoa, hold on a minute here. Not really. You don't have to be... You can't be... It's like, what, what, how you want me to act? I want you to be maybe a little concerned being accused of a felony. Yeah, cause like I did, but I didn't do anything. I was accused of it last time. I didn't do anything to nobody. And then help me understand why witnesses... And I don't victim, know why. I don't know why. Let me finish. I don't even know these people. Let me finish. I'm not saying those people are witnesses or victims. You keep looking at those people and identifying those people. I'm asking you if you know. Yeah, but I've been through this already. You, I already seen all this before. I know what you're talking about. So who spoke with you before about this then? Well, I'm talking about when I was locked up last time. Oh. This has nothing to do with that, man. I'm but it's you, all the same stuff. They question you and every. They do all that stuff. Because I didn't do nothing. Nobody. Like I said before, there's two sides of every story. Okay, we have a witness statement. And we have a victim statement. These two people don't even know each other. Homie, let me finish before you start telling go me ahead, something, okay? These people from out of town don't even know this victim, never talked to this victim, and their story matches the victim's story. So, who do you think I'm going to believe? Them. It sounds pretty legit. You get two sides, two different people telling you the same story. It sounds like it just sounds like it's a true story. You can say what you want, but I didn't do nothing to nobody. We're not making a story. We're telling you facts that these are what people are telling us. Okay. But and we're telling you that's why this you're is what's being man. said. I know, but I'm telling you guys I didn't do nothing to nobody. They can accuse me all they want. Okay. I didn't do nothing to nobody. So you're not... That, that's your statement. You want evidence and witness testimony to yes, determine sir. Yes, sir, how mean. this case goes. Yes, sir. Yeah. Interesting. So I, I just find it kind of odd that you were here at the store about the same time that the shooting happened. You're saying you went here about two, two and a half weeks ago with your mom? Yes, yeah, ma'am. It's about the same time that the shooting yeah. occurred. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. No, it's, it's I'm like, telling you. That's I didn't go over there. Like I said, I didn't go over there. You, you just said sat there and told us that you went here. Two weeks and a two, half. Okay. It's about the same time that the shooting happened. What are the odds? Mm. You're, you're there at the store around the same time the shooting happened. Our suspect's at that store the same time the shooting happened. Around the same time the shooting happened. And okay. you're being identified as a shooter. I didn't shoot anybody. I know, but I'm... I'm you see, I understand what we're telling you. I understand what you're telling me. You're telling me, but I'm telling you, I didn't shoot anybody, so why? No, I, I don't mean, have nothing else sir, to say. So I understand what you're saying, but Detective Morris is explaining to you, you're there around the same time. You know what I mean? And what you want me to say? Oh, that's me. I, I, I tell you, that wasn't me. So I just want the There's a dude. Those are two guys. I was with my mother. It's supposed to be a female in that car. So how was I in there? So you said I this said, car belongs to been, Lewis, though. No, I did not say it belongs to Lewis. I don't know who it belongs to. But Lewis picks you up in this car. I've, I, like I said, it was a car that looks like it. It was probably a Honda that came and got me. Like I said, I don't really know. <sighs> don't none of my people drive this car. I, I, but I don't understand. You said you were possibly in this car once Like I said, twice. I probably, like, yes, I said I probably was in this car once or twice. But now you're saying you're, you've never been in the car. No, because it probably is not this car. That's why I'm telling you that. What happens if, if, you, you, what happens if your fingerprints come up in that specific car? Then, like I said, I probably was in that car. Okay. I've so, been in a lot of cars. You just not, you don't know for sure. Probably, yeah. I've been in a lot of cars.
So let me just paint a picture for you. Okay. Someone else is being accused of this crime. You're a jury in court. And you're hearing this. And you hear that that car is a suspect car. That video there of the store. You were possibly there around the same time the shooting was there. Well, the suspect. You can't even describe hey. who is that guy. You can't even describe Focus who that person here. is. Like Focus for a second, okay? You're hearing this story about somebody else. Where's my pictures at if I did that? You, you want to hear me explain this to you? So, you hear all this evidence. You're being identified. That vehicle has your prints in it. It's a suspect's vehicle. Sitting where the suspect was sitting. And the, and the gas station video will show you there at, the, at, that, at that store around the same time they heard the shooting. So, as a jury man, wouldn't you think, that sounds pretty guilty to me. Not really. No? No, sir. That wouldn't sound guilty to you? No, sir. Really? Because, like I said, that day I was home, I said I went with my mother to probably Dollar General, probably stopped at this store to buy gas, get gas and everything. At March 28th, you asked me, March 28th, right? Mm -hmm. I was at home with my brother-in-law. I never said I was at a gas station on that day. No. I was with my mother. Right. And we have a good Two number. Two weeks and a half ago. We have a good number to reach your brother-in-law? He doesn't have a phone number. Um, his his Facebook is Eric Hernandez. Well, how do I get a hold of him without having a Facebook message? Well, you we can go to the house, but he doesn't have a phone number. Okay. We're going to need to talk to him since you're saying that you're with me. Yeah, he'll be there. Yeah. Was well, there a video surveillance over there in Britain? Um, I really don't know. We just moved there. I haven't even been to the pool or anything. So the video surveillance over there in Britain will show you permanently at that place. If they have surveillance cameras, then yes, most likely. They don't have them in the house or in the No, 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 anything. but the, the general area. The, the, oh, the apartments. The parking the apartments, lot, they don't the have buildings them. looking down. From the apartments, the, the sides of the buildings, I didn't see any. I don't know about the wire lines or anything like that. you got to be honest with me. I don't think you're telling me the truth. I'm just going to tell you. I didn't do anything to nobody. I know, I know what you're saying. I just don't think you're telling the truth. What else you want me to tell you? I didn't do anything to nobody, so why? What else can I say? The truth. That's all we want. And I'm telling you the truth. I it's was not, at home. It's not against the law to be in a car. It's not against the law to have a relationship. You can with go somebody. ask my brother-in-law. I was at home on March 28th. I did not go out the house till sundown. Do you have any reason to visit Palm Vista Apartments? No, man. Any that's that's what that's Palm Vista is where my mom stays. She just moved there. What's your mom's name then? Rosa Delgado. What? What? Where does she stay at? Uh, I don't know. It's two o two 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 six is the apartment number. That's that's all I know right now. In Palm Vista. So what time did you leave? You said sundown. You left. Yes. What time? Did you like leave? like seven or eight is like when the sun goes down. Well, that would still give you time. If you are a suspect, to commit the crime. So the crime happened tonight. I didn't do anything to anybody. So Where'd you go when you left? I went to my. Um, I really don't know where I left that day. Oh, I went to West Chase. I went to West Chase, the Angel's house. Okay. Angel Martinez. And his apartment number is 19, and it's 911. Did you know if the crime happened during the day or at night? Did Not you, really. You well, that's why I said, because you the said... The whole time during the day, and then you went at night. First you guys said at 11 or something like that, was I at this store or something. Mm -hmm. It happened at 11, 13 in the morning. Yeah, I guess I, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know what time did the crime happen. Okay. <laughs> what building does she live at? Who? Your mom. My mother? Uh, I don't know. 
I don't know. Like I said, she just moved there. She used to live in John Walker's apartments. When did she move here again? For like, like a month. I've been there like twice. Which which apartment was that? Palm Vista. Does she live by the pool area? Does she live? No, ma'am. She lives in the front. And when you come in the entrance, you turn left, and it's it's the it's the last building right there, right in front of the exit right there. And her ex her ex stays there too. Reggie Rodriguez, I think. That's who I was with right now in West Chase Apartments. And I was with him all day too. Reggie Martinez? No. Angel Martinez is the guy that stays in nine one one. Reggie Rodriguez stays in Palm Vista apartments. Oh. I did, I just never been at his house like that. It was my it was my mom's ex. Reggie's at West Chase, West Chase Angels at Palm Vista. No, Reggie's at Palm Vista and Angels at West Chase. Gotcha. He lives in the back. Everything you told us was the truth. Yes, sir. All right. I have a search warrant for your DNA. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to read you this. Honorable Judge John S. Carlin, Judge of the 20th Judicial Circuit in and for Lee County, State of Florida, received a via electronic transmission pursuant to Section 933.07 Florida Statutes from Detective Brittany Morris of the Fort Myers Police Department, who, being sor- first duly sworn, deposes and says by affidavit, which is attached hereto and incorporated herein, that he or she has probable cause to believe and does believe that upon or within the person, more particularly described as Antonio Vega, Hispanic or Latino, Latino male, being approximately 5 feet 9 inches tall, date of birth 3-2-1996, social security number, and driver's license state Florida and driver's license number, Victor 200, said individual being in Lee County, state of Florida, is property or evidence relevant to proving Antonio Vega committed the offense of an aggravated battery with a deadly weapon? slash firearm aggravated assault with a deadly weapon or firearm firing discharging firearm from a vehicle shooting a deadly missile into a vehicle based on the above information and facts your affiant believes that contained upon or within an aforementioned Antonio Vega is the following evidence or property two buckle swab swabs from the inner cheek area of Antonio Vega. As I am satisfied that there is probable cause to believe that there is in or upon the above described Antonio Vega's evidence or property relevant to approving the commission of a felony as aforesaid and that the property above mentioned is located in or on Antonio Vega above described. I expressly find probable cause for the issuance of this search warrant. Okay. You need, uh, you want me to get you some gloves? Yeah, please. That is your copy of that. So what are you guys trying to say? Like, I'm being arrested, or what is this? What Detective Morse just read to Antonio was a search warrant signed by a judge for the collection of Antonio's DNA. Because there was enough evidence implicating Antonio as a suspect before they even spoke with him, evidence that included finding a workable DNA sample inside of said vehicle in the same area that his fingerprints were found, Fort Myers police were granted a historically difficult to acquire warrant for DNA before he had even gone through a holding cell. Antonio seems more concerned about him being under arrest than the fact that they have acquired a warrant for his DNA, which is usually everything but the nail in the metaphorical coffin in a criminal investigation, and as Antonio would eventually find out, would be no different in his case. 
This is to get your DNA. Yes. For no, I know to that. To send in for um, a I'm, DNA analysis through FDLE. But I'm not being arrested because this is a search warrant. This is a search warrant for your buckles. Okay. Let me get these first, and then we'll we'll discuss the rest. Of what's going to happen? I'm going to get two sets. Okay. I do want to guess. This XL is medium. Okay, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Do you have anything further to state? No. Mm-hmm. Do you have anything further? I'm all set. Okay. Um, that is going to be the conclusion of our discussion with you. That is your copy. Um, as of right now, um, you are going to be arrested and transported to the jail. Okay. Um, this is your property. Do you have any other property? No. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Okay. All right, you stand up and the hands up again. Do I have to hold that paper? You guys are gonna grab it. I go for you. Right. That is search for. Uh, I don't know what this is. This is his. This is same for. This is my copy. Should go that way. Is that one working? Yeah, I used it. Come in here. Okay. Still got the. Yep. Hey, this way. Just as Detective Moore said, Antonio was taken to jail after the conclusion of his interrogation and he would remain there until his day in court. The Fort Myers Police Department continued to investigate the crime further, using his cheek swabs that were now saturated in his DNA to compare to the DNA inside of the vehicle. The swabs from Antonio and the DNA from the car returned as a positive match. In March of 2022, Antonio Vega faced a trial by jury for the charges of aggravated battery, aggravated assault, and shooting at, within, or into an occupied vehicle. The victim of the shooting, struck once in her lower torso, survived the shooting thanks to first responders and emergency services. Her survival also saved Antonio from facing a first-degree murder charge. Following a three-day trial, the jury returned a verdict of guilty, and on May 2nd, 2022, Antonio was sentenced to 35 years in prison. Taking into account his time served while awaiting trial, he received a scheduled release date of March 29th, 2054. On May 19th, 2022, Antonio was transferred into the Wakula Correctional Institution in Tallahassee, Florida, where he will remain for the rest of his sentence.